Hey, my name is Charles Parent here at JTEC, and we're going to go over some of the internals of an automatic transmission. It's not something you would typically take apart unless you're in a shop that does this. We're going to go over some of the pieces, how they work together, and uh, just kind of an overall tour of the set. So I'm going to take you in there and we'll look at it. So this transmission housing is quite big compared to these ones. This would be in a light duty, this would be more in a heavy duty. Uh, so inside of your transmission is all of these pieces. You know, that's how we got them in sets here because they kind of, they go in a certain way. As you can see, they're, spl they're splined. These are collision friction materials right here. Not, not this. This right here is a friction material with these little teeth. And these are splined. These are the, uh, the, the discs. So these all go inside. And these teeth on these friction material will go inside gears. Like this gear set right here. So why do you need to know this stuff? Well, you don't, honestly, unless you are a specialty shop who's going to be taking apart and rebuilding transmissions, you kind of don't need to know some of this stuff. One thing you'd cut, you do need to know is that inside of the hydraulic, the hydraulic lid here or is that there's a bunch of O-rings in here. These are all replaceable. If you have a sluggish transmission, uh, is this, it's slipping out of gear, it's probably because your, your spacing on your valves, I don't know if you can see in here, your valves are wrong, or maybe this one doesn't have it, but this one does. It's got little ball bearings in there. Uh, they could be missing or These could be Worn out and you can replace these somebody taking off Taking out some of these pins or taking off the covers slipping out the valves and replacing them So that's actually something replaceable, but most people just turn these in So some of the makeup so you got ring gears You've got planetary gears We've got a sun gear. Sun gears are right here on this main shaft right here. These are sun gears. So how do these work? Well, obviously, sun gears go into planetary gears. Now these planetary gears work like the spider gears on a differential. Uh, they're really just for spacing and allow it to turn and keep contact. They also disperse weight over the whole system. Uh, the way this works as you get as you switch gears, the carrier will turn. And as you switch to a higher gear, the sun gear will turn. And then it'll switch clutch, clutch packs. And then the carrier will turn. And then the sun gear will turn. So that's how you switch gears with these things. These are kind of like the components within it. Now, if you ever have to take these apart and you see something like this, Obviously, there's a big issue there. That's a lot of heat damage to this metal. Um, you can't feel this, but I can. It's all pitted and scratched. And right as it changes color, the material gets really, really rough. So this is the reason why you might want to get these things rebuilt. Now, if you can see, not every piece is messed up. So if you ever have to rebuild these things, these automatic transmissions, you can replace things like a carrier or a sun gear or a shaft and not have to replace all the pieces. Now one thing you do have to replace in, in packs are the clutch packs right here because everything marries up really, really tight. Put this back over here. Um, again, we're taking these things apart. See how we got them in sections here. It's because it's a big puzzle and sometimes you kind of, sometimes you might forget what goes where. So it's good to keep things in pieces. That's our output section. The output section actually is held in by a snap ring, which we place, we're, we're putting this thing back together. And that whole place can be replaced by itself. So if your issue is in the output section of your transmissions, it's a simple repair. If it's in one of the clutch packs, you can take out a single clutch pack and repair it. But more likely you're probably gonna turn it in because it's a lot of man hours 
it takes about 30 minutes to take these apart it takes about and it takes a couple people to do it quickly you can do it with one person slowly but when you put it back together you need more than one person or a stand that's set up to do that or something along those lines so i hope this helped hope this scared you a little bit when it comes to uh, automatic transmissions go go turn them in and don't attempt to do this unless you know what you're doing or if it's just for fun this is a good way to learn experience get experience taking these things apart but understand you need to keep things in dip pieces and as you can see this is a heavy duty automatic transmission this is a medium duty light duty whatever we call it and they look completely different now they they function similarly we've got a carrier set here we've got a sun gear here we've got a carrier here it's got it's got planetary gear set right there rides on the inside of the carrier so they're basically the same but like this one has a friction band to, to tighten down and that one does not it's just different makes and models are all set up differently so hope this helps hope you learned something hope it scared you <laughs> talk to you later